Can I get a text back? Like, do you wanna go get some food? Have I seen you in three weeks? I'm literally dating myself. Like I'm taking myself on dates. People, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, welcome. The main theme of my channel is adulting in progress, where I take you through things that I'm currently going through or things that I've already been through and how I am adulting my way through them. Today, we're going to talk about me giving up dating for the year 2021. I may be on, who knows? If you've seen my, I'll link the thumbnail right here and I'll also put it in the cards, my like she has a vision 2021 vision board. You know that one of the things that I'm doing for the year 2021 is dating myself. So basically I'm gonna take you through how I came to this decision and why I chose to not date anyone else in 2021, okay? So I grew up like a lot of, I think, women in America taught that like, you're gonna get married, you're gonna have kids, you're gonna do all of the things. And I've always wanted to be married. I still want to be married. I've always wanted that for myself, for my life, partnership, all this stuff. Boss couple, we gonna do the things. Yes, yes, I've always wanted that. And then my mother also showed me like, you can do it by yourself and also make sure you do it by yourself. Even if you got a man, girl, make sure you got your own, okay? Make sure you have your own things because there's no one in this world who is going to be able to say that they have everything that I am worth. Never in your life, okay? Let me be clear. But I still have always wanted to be married. Enter my dating phase. I've always been in relationships. Like I've had a boyfriend technically since like the third grade. Was it real? No. My first real boyfriend was when I was in high school. He was wonderful. He was great. He, um, he was the first person that I thought I was going to marry, honestly. I thought that I was gonna get married out of high school and then we were going to get jobs and have kids and all of those things. That didn't happen. <laughs> but he also was like the best first boyfriend that you could ever have. Like he set a standard. So really all these other people that are trying, I don't even know if we call it dating because I feel like he was doing more. Like he set a standard of like taking me out to eat, planning activities, to do surprising me with trips or taking me to the movies or any, like he did all that in high school. Now there's 28 year olds that are like, I don't know what you wanna do. <laughs> so yeah, so I was like, I had a very high bar of like, what it means to be in a relationship, what it means to have a boyfriend, what it means to have someone contributing to your life and making you a better person from the age 16. I was in that relationship for three years. And so like, that was my idea of relationship. And then <laughs> we broke up, I went to college. I didn't really, like I went on dates in college, but like, like I said, the bar was here for a high schooler from sophomore to senior. And people with like regular jobs can't even meet the level of like, can I get a text back? Like, do you want to go get some food? Have I seen you in three weeks? So like I did sporadic dating. And then um, if you've seen my college entanglements video that I will also link because the, the stories, okay? You know that I was in a situation that literally made me want to give up on dating altogether. I was done. I was like, all men are trash. I don't even want to try. I just, I can't because I like wasted so much time. So I'm just like, I'm not even gonna give you the opportunity to waste my time. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just going to give up. How about that? That happened and it ended in 2016. I was in my last year of college. I graduated everything. I was living my life, okay? And then I moved to the Bay, okay? And when I moved to the Bay, I wasn't looking for a relationship when I first got here. I wasn't. And then in like three months in, I wanna say, three months in, I met someone who came in, changed my life and all of those things, basically. Um, he was the first person since my high school boyfriend of all of my dating. He was the first person to my high school boyfriend who even came close to the bar of like, being a boyfriend, someone who actually communicated, someone who actually took you out on dates, someone who actually like shared thoughts and like all of these things. This is the second person who I thought I was going to marry, okay? This was more of like a, this is my person. Like I felt like when I met him, this is my person of all people. And you couldn't tell me nothing, okay? You couldn't tell me nothing. Couldn't tell me we weren't gonna get married. Couldn't tell me we weren't gonna have kids. Couldn't tell me anything. And things don't always work out the way that you plan them. If you don't know that by now, let me tell you, newsflash. 
things do not go the way that you always planned them. So that relationship came to an end in 2019. After that, shattered, broken, heartbroken, literally, again, wanted to give up. But then was also in like the rebound phase of like, I'm 20, what, 24 at that point? 24, 25 at that point? Like I need to be out here, okay? So I tried dating apps, okay? Just so we know, my first dating app experience was on Tinder when I was in college and the man became a stalker and also sent me pictures of sunsets and sunrises every single day, even though after I told him he wasn't interested. If you wanna hear the whole story, comment down below, I'll tell you. So I hadn't been on dating apps since then, okay? No. And so after this relationship, when I was like, I need to bounce back, I need something, I need to, I was like, I'm looking for to date, like just dating, dating. Can we define dating real quick, real quick, small tangent. My version of dating is when you're going on dates and or activities, dinner, movies, walks in the parks, jogs, something, an activity, doing something together that does not make you an exclusive couple. And you should continue to date in a relationship, but just because we're dating doesn't mean we're in a relationship. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Anyway, back to the story. So I decided I want to start dating my version of dating. I downloaded the app. I didn't download Tinder. That's not what I was looking for. Um, I tried Bumble. Bumble is basically, if you ever tried Bumble, like if you're the woman, I don't know how it works. In but if you are the woman on Bumble, you are the person that is reaching out. That is that is what you were doing. You are the person that is starting the conversations and all that stuff. Now, I'm someone who loves to communicate. They don't wanna talk to you. And I'm just like, why did you match with me if you don't wanna talk? Because like, that's literally how this has to start. If you think I'm gonna meet you and I don't even know who you are, you could be a serial killer, bro, no. Then I downloaded Hinge, okay? Hinge is my favorite dating app to this day. I have nothing bad to say about Hinge. I went on two dates with different people from Hinge and they were super great. I like Hinge because it's like more in-depth profile. They have like thought-provoking questions that you can choose, all this stuff. Like I like Hinge a lot actually. I went on two dates. They were nice. I didn't see a relationship with these people. So I didn't want to keep going on dates with them if they thought that it was going to lead to a relationship. That was in 2019. I went on two dates and they were not back to back. I went on one in like June and one in like October. <laughs> because in between, I kept wanting to give up. I was done. I like, I just like, uh, like people, there was other people that I would like match with and they'll be like, oh, let's meet up. And then I wouldn't hear from them ever again. You're a ghost, I, I don't know. So then I was just like, okay, I'm deleting all my apps. I'm doing that, I'm deleting all the apps. That was going into 2020. And then 2020, I was still open to dating, but I was still running into the same situations where people are like, hey, you're really pretty. Hey, we'd love to get to know you. Hey, you seem like a cool person, let's go out. And then like, there would be either no finalized plan of like, okay, let's go out. Like literally this one person said, I wanna take you on a date. I said, okay, <laughs> and then silence. And then there was someone who was like, okay, we're gonna hang out. This is the day. Um, I'll hit you up and let you know what we're gonna do. Day comes, day goes, another day comes, another day goes, another day comes, another day goes, and nothing. Still haven't heard from him. Is he alive? Who knows? But that's been my experience with dating. And that was basically, and then, you know, pandemic, like the pandemic came in 2020 also, and that was just like, who's dating? What are we doing? So fast forward to 2021, I made the decision to basically take the year of me. Again, if you haven't seen my vision board video, it is the year of me and focus on myself because I also want to understand what it means to love yourself, true self-love, true self-care, and date yourself. One of my mantras, I have many, as I've told you, is basically before you ask someone else to do it for you, whether it is taking you out to eat, whether it is doing an activity, whether it is traveling to a new place, whether it is whatever you want someone to do for you as a partner, see what it's like to do it for yourself. Also, I live alone. I enjoy this solitude. And then I'm like, what if I meet someone and this is the last time I live alone? So I'm taking this year to enjoy living alone and enjoying my solitude and being able to do and make my own schedule and do what I want. We're doing that. Also, I want 
to have the hard conversations with myself. Now, if you've ever been in a relationship or dating or on a dating app and you are someone who likes deep conversations, but you feel like you, you, you don't get the responses, you get like surface level, are you willing to have those conversations with yourself? Are you willing to analyze your past traumas? Are you willing to deal with your past relationships and figure out if you're still actually holding on to homeboy from 2019? I'm just saying. Um, so this year is more about having those tough conversations with myself, making sure that I'm actually ready to be in a relationship because you know, they say that God will never give you more than you can handle. <laughs> and maybe I need to figure out how to handle myself before I bring someone else in there. And then I gotta figure out how to handle them too and how to process how to deal and how, what you're leveling with and all this other stuff. Figuring out what I would like, figure out what I don't like, dealing with my trauma, dealing with all of my emotions, all of my feelings as they come. And making decisions that like don't affect other people because when you are in a relationship and you start making decisions for your life, they affect other people. So that is what I'm doing. My version of dating myself. You don't need a reason. You are the reason and the occasion. Thank you, Miss Kev on stage, okay? You are the reason and the occasion. So basically we went through my dating history, rough and rocky. We talked about how we got to 2020 and why I'm choosing to dating myself and the things I hope to gain from that. So if you are or have had a year where you chose to date yourself and take a year off dating, comment down below and let me know. Let me know some of the things that you gained from that. Let me know some things that you think I should try. I'm literally dating myself. Like I'm taking myself on dates. Like I'm going to national parks. I'm going to new restaurants. I'm doing all of the things that I would do with a partner by myself. So if you have any recommendations of where I should go, where I should eat, what things I should try, with myself, then let me know, comment down below. I hope you are enjoying all of this content so far. Like this video if you liked it. Again, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, it's free, it's free. If you subscribe to the channel, it helps me, it supports me, it supports other <laughs> creators as well. Just get our message out there when you wanna like, subscribe, comment, interact with the video as much as you can. I really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video, okay? Bye, beautiful people.